any white person who was born, raised, and schooled in the United States of America, if you aren't a racist, you're a miracle. Either that or you decided to educate yourself. Because education in this country is about white is right, brown's all right, black's got to stand back. Yellow's mellow, but whites, we, we educate in a way that says that white males have done all the adventures, have made all the adventures, have done all the discovering, have made all, and everything that is good and has been accomplished has been accomplished according to social studies, which is actually anti-social studies, by white males. It's a lie. But we do that in order to maintain the myth of white superiority. The myth of race has to be maintained at all costs in this country. Because if white people have to give up the color of their skin as being something that makes them perfect, what do they have left? If we start teaching the truth about history, if we start teaching about Nile Valley contributions to civilization, it will totally change the way we conduct ourselves in the classroom. It will have to. Columbus didn't discover America. You can't discover a place where people are already living. But we celebrate that every October. It's a lie. We need to get over it. We, we need to stop telling the myths and start telling the truth. So when you tell people that they're racist, and it, it must have some kind of effect because most people will say, I'm not racist. I'm not a racist. Why, some of my best friends are black. Right. Yeah, and then you say, name one. <laughs> or this one, I don't see color. And when some woman says to me, I don't see color, I say, I knew that if you saw color, you wouldn't dye your hair that way. Or I say, if you, didn't, if you saw color, you wouldn't wear that shirt with those pants. I believe that you don't see color. It's an attempt to deny skin color. And it's attempt, an attempt to deny what's wrong with seeing the color of my skin. Is it all right for you to see me kind of pink? That's okay for me. I don't mind. And I suspect that you don't mind being seen the color you are. You have a right to be what you are. And until people in this country and people in this world get it into their heads that the first modern human beings that evolved on this earth were black women. They evolved in sub-Saharan Africa about 280,000 years ago. And every human being on the face of the earth today runs the me has the memory of those black women's genetic structure in their genes. Now, we don't want to admit that, but that's the way it is. And people, as people move farther and farther from the equator, their bodies produce less and less melanin, so their hair, their skin, and their eyes got lighter. As they moved into the east, they ate a lot of fish and a lot of vegetables, so their skin took on a different tone. I found, I found that out when I was raising little kids. My husband worked in a supermarket. He, had, he was the head of the produce department. And they had lots of oranges that they couldn't sell, so he'd bring them home. And I was feeding my kids orange juice like you never saw in your life. They began to have an orange cast to their skin. I thought they had something, a liver problem. So I took him to the doctor, and she said, what are you feeding these kids? I said, well, lots of orange juice. She said, stop it if you want them to stop being orange. Now, if you think that skin color isn't anything other than the body's natural reaction to the natural environment, get over it. So if all white people are racist, According to you, can they be reprogrammed? Of course they can. Of course they can. Of How? course they can be. You, it's called education. I'm an educator. The word educator comes from the root duck deuce, which means lead, the prefix e, which means out, the suffix ate, which means the act of, and the suffix or, which means one who does. An educator is one who is engaged in the act of leading people out of ignorance.